Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's nice to be back. It always feels like it's been a while when it's the weekend for me, but realistically, it's been like two days since I saw some of you. <laughs> it's been like maybe four days since I saw more of you, but hello, hello. Wait, what was that? Oh, I think that was the robot. I don't think I've ever really noticed the sounds it makes before. Oh, no, no, no. It was Eve. Okay. Uh, but hi. Hi, Nina. How are you? Emoji clues. I know. Listen, we're going to talk about it. I'm sure we'll be talking about it a lot today because it's the only new thing we've gotten in like ages and eons. And it's pretty exciting. Hi, Candia. Hi, Brandy. Leafpool, Tara, Sam. Hello. First time catching a live. Welcome in. I'm happy you're here. Hi, Leanne, Amanda, Ginny, Yana, Karen. Hello, hello. Uh, we're also going to be decorating on the aisle. I had an idea. I was just sitting. I was just simmering. And we only have a couple areas left. And I think I kind of know what I want to do here in this spot that I'm cleaning up. But here's the thing. I, <laughs> I know what I want to do in theory. But actually pulling it off, I think, might prove to be very difficult. So I might just change my mind. <laughs> but we'll see. The audio is weird. Wait, is it? It's like an echo. Does it sound weird to anybody else? Let me do a quick check. Um, uh, My mic should not be duplicating. Hmm. Good there. Good there. Okay. Maybe try refreshing the stream if it sounds weird. It shouldn't. I feel like I tried to test everything before stream because sometimes it does get weird. Um, hi, Allie. Hello, hello. Okay, is this all clean? Mostly, almost. Okay. Uh, Scramble Coin is hard to play. You have to beat Mickey in a quest. Oh, you know, there are some really great videos out there about Scramble Coin. Um... I feel like the one that I remember watching that was very comprehensive was probably Senpai's. But I know there are a bunch of other ones as well, and I would definitely recommend checking those out because it goes over like all of the different pieces and their movements and also some strategies for doing well in Scramble Coin, which can be super helpful. Would recommend. You're thinking with these hints, maybe a Toontown star path. Okay, I'm so excited to talk about it because I have ideas. I have ideas and theories, both about the star path and also about update timing. When do we think the update's going to be? Because my personal opinion is that I think the update's going to be, uh, what's that date? May 1st. Because I was looking back through when we got emoji clues in the last couple of updates, and it was always like two weeks or two and a half weeks before the update. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking May 1st. That's my idea. You can't find their post. What did they say? I have it pinned. Um, there was like text with it as well, but it was just like the generic update is coming up. Uh, look at these emojis and tell us what you think the star path items are going to be. And I have the emojis and sets up in the pinned comment. I think it was a popcorn and a like squirrel or chipmunk. It was, um, oh, this is a mess up here. It was, what were the other ones? I can't see my own pinned comment. <laughs> what was it? Uh, like the sparkle stars, a car and a dog. And then the last one was a pretzel and a standing person. Uh, you think season seven of Speedstorm releases this week? Yeah, I was playing this morning. I think there's three days left. Uh, did I say hi, kitty? Hello, kitty. You feel like this past update was later than most, so you feel like they might try to speed up with the next one. I do think it's going to be in two weeks, because usually the emoji clues is like the first thing that we get. Kind of like teaser wise. And then it's usually like two weeks of other hints and things. OK, sorry, I was just trying to get a view because here's my thing. I was minding my own business, thinking about Atlantis, as I typically do. And I was like, I knew I wanted to do something with this overlook here. And I want to have like something cool here. And then I was like, well, famously in Atlantis, um, the heart of the la of Atlantis lies in the eyes of her king. And I feel like <laughs> so I feel like we're going to do that Atlantean symbol. 
and it's going to be mostly hopefully able to see what it is from the ledge. I don't know. It's going to require a lot of um, experimentation, probably a lot of trial and error. I'm going to get some flowers because I'm not sure if I want to do it with flowers, with ruins or with pathing. We're going to have to try a bunch of things. Uh, you love what I did with Merlin's house? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going to get flowers. That's what I was doing. You're so bad with the emoji hints, you have no clue for any of them. So for the first like three to five minutes that I was looking at it, I was like, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I have absolutely no idea. But now, now I have ideas. Uh, you know they're doing a lot of snack themed merch in the park, so you wonder if they're going to do that here since pretzels and popcorn are super big. Yeah, so I think it's possible that we're going to be getting another parks star path. That's my current theory. Um, I think the popcorn and the squirrel is going to be the companion. I think we're going to get a popcorn squirrel, which I think could be really cute. I also think we're going to, well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the pretzel and the standing person, I feel like, is going to be a, like, snack stand. Because famously, in Disney World, you can get Mickey Mouse-shaped pretzels. They're kind of a big deal. And then the middle one I was really confused about. It's like the sparkle and the car and a dog. But then I remembered that Slinky... Oh my gosh, my girl. Um, then I remembered that Slinky Dog Dash exists as a ride in Disney World. And I feel like that could potentially work. Ignore my um, possessed avatar. I'm trying to do some things. No! Uh, just drop these. A dog, maybe Pluto companion. I saw a lot of people saying Pluto, but I don't know what the car and the star would have to do with that. So that's what makes me a little bit curious. Now you don't want to go on vacation. Um, the update will be there for you when you're back. Or a man made of pretzels. No, thank you. Very much no, thank you. Um, should I try to do this with Path first? I think I should try to do this with Path first. And if that doesn't work, maybe we can try Flowers as a follow-up. Why did I drop all of these? Well, because I really thought that was going to be my first attempt at creating what I'm trying to create. But upon further reflection, I don't know if that's the best idea. Not a fan of recycling themes, like what was the survey for? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean in terms of the survey. And I don't think they ever like published people like what the breakdown was for what people voted for on the survey. I also think the surveys tend to be put out way in advance of any of the content that's in it. Because I feel like it's probably stuff that they're considering working on or just starting to work on and they're trying to find a timeline and that survey was when like january so i feel like the second half of the year is probably when we would start to see that kind of stuff implemented if not like later i feel like it's more of like a development tool for them you saw a reddit comment that said maybe magic car pet well, we have historically only had one companion in the star path, and I feel like, I don't know, a popcorn squirrel just makes so much sense to me based off of what we've had before. So that's my current, um, ooh, we could do something cool with these flowers, actually. Wait, these go so close together. I've never noticed that before. I haven't fixed the key card. No, I haven't. I haven't been making the quests a priority for the Monsters, Inc. update because I've been having too much fun decorating. Uh, Caitlin, welcome in. This is iconic for you. Amazing. I love it. <laughs> welcome in. I'm glad you're able to be here. Oh, OK, OK, OK. See, no, I was onto something with the path, though, because here's the thing. I need to make the Atlantean symbol for A, um, the letter A. And I'm not going to be able to do that with a path in a way that makes sense because the paths curve a bunch and it's going to be an immense pain in my behind 
to try to make this a path. In which case... Hmm. Hmm. The thing is, I've been thinking about this all morning and the fact, <laughs> the fact that I don't know how I'm going to make this happen. I feel like maybe Ruins is going to be our best bet. We can make this almost like a mini botanical garden sort of vibe, like a cute path to walk through some flowers, some trees, and then the ruins will be arranged in the like, formation of the symbol, potentially. The path is really not going to work. The star path is a timed thing. Are you going on vacation for like a whole month and a half? The star path is timed, but it's so long that if you're going on vacation for a week or two or even like three weeks, I feel like you would still have time to complete it. Thank you for lurking, Wolfie. I appreciate it. Oh, no, magic carp. Wait, magic carpet? Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> That's a cool interpretation. Um, I also need to keep in mind that we're not going to be looking from directly overhead. And even though it might make sense to, you know what? I'm going to do it just from directly overhead for now. That's what we're going to do. The Atlantean symbol for an A looks like um, it's got like kind of a line at the bottom. I'm going to just plop these out and then we're going to switch them out eventually to make this look however we want it. I just kind of want to get the shape sketched out. Uh, and I think it curves around this way. The way that I could look this up, and I probably will to confirm, but I'm mostly certain it like comes around like this and then sort of comes down like this. And then around, well, maybe a little bit over to the side more. Um, it almost looks like a little swirly swirl. You haven't finished Microcelli yet? I haven't either. Once we get the announcement, well, like, once we get more teasers, I think, I really need to start focusing on that. But for now, I'm putting it off. And then I think it has a dot down here. Let me look it up. Uh, you just love the comfy Dreamlight Valley streams? Well, that's wonderful. I appreciate it. Oh, no. Oh, we're not going to be able to get it to look like it from here. I'm going to work on it. We're going to work on it. We'll see what we can do. Let me look this up just to confirm. Um, We're sort of there. This needs to be, like, stretched out more. And a cute little diagonal moment, kind of. And then this does indeed go here, but this kind of swirls down this way. Looks like a heart, kind of. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of work for me to get this looking like an actual thing, which is why I wish the path would work. What are the chances that we can try to put path under this? This is going to be a very trial and error stream. I'm sorry if that kind of thing is not your vibe. I mean, that's pretty much all of my streams in a nutshell, to be honest. But this one especially is going to be a lot of me just trying to figure out how we can make this work. Hi, Zaya. Hello. Imagine me having this memorized. In my defense, I don't have the entire Atlantean alphabet memorized. I just know like A and E. And I know A because obviously I need to. It's like important in the movie and i know e because it's in dreamlight valley and i see it all the time uh okay oh but if i use this path it's gonna blend in with this okay change of plans remove all we're gonna use this solid one that i think will blend in less You're all for cute companions. You want them all. I definitely want like actual character companions. What? Where was I? What was I looking at? It must have been a host from Dreamlight Valley. And in fact, I think it was. 
did they post something yesterday that was like, hey, the update's just around the corner or something? I feel like it was something like that. And someone in the comments was talking about how they want Hey Hey in the game. And I thought that was so funny. Um, okay, can't bring that out this way. This is also not going to work because it's not going to stand out against this. Is there a path I can use that I'm not going to hate? Oh, <gasps> I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with this. That would be so sick. Not these. Those would blend in too much. If we could do it with the blue tiles. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, you can go there, perhaps. What about Nene? Oh, Nene <laughs> instead of Hey Hey. I appreciate that. Okay, you go. There we go. Oh, I'm feeling good feelings about this. I probably shouldn't have said that right now because now things are going to start going downhill. Am I feeling good feelings about this? Am I being overly ambitious? I think the answer is yes. Just don't. <laughs> uh, I think the answer is yes. Just let me have this. Let me try to live my Atlantis dreams. Uh, okay. Prince Eric has been removed from your most hated Dreamlight Valley character because you really like him in Speedstorm. Speedstorm? See, I was having fun until I wasn't. And I was playing this morning trying to finish the season because it's almost over. But uh, there are just a lot of things that have been frustrating me a little bit about the way that the game is right now. Okay, we're going to bring this this way and try to bring this down this way. I'm not going to have enough of these is what's going to happen. You initially thought that I would make it with the blue stone path, blue stone path. Wait, what blue stone path? The thing is, I, oh, like this one or this one. I'm super, super picky about the paths that I use. I'm changing my mind. I'm doing this with flowers. Listen, we're doing this with flowers and <laughs> that's the way it's going to go. I'm so sorry. This is the most annoying one of my streams that's ever streamed before. Usually, I would probably just give up on this idea if I'm being really honest, but I want this to happen more than I've wanted almost anything to happen ever. So we're going to be doing that. Um, I think I'm going to I might have to put it down here, actually, now that I think about it. So that we can actually see it from here. Brief hiatus. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Uh, when will the update be? We don't have a date for sure yet. My prediction is that it'll be the 1st of May uh, or whatever Wednesday is closest to that. I think the 1st is the Wednesday because we just got emoji clues today. And usually emoji clues are like an indication that we're going to be getting an update in two to three weeks. Okay, I could probably leave myself up there. You know what? I'm going to leave myself up there because we can still decorate wherever. And that way, when we pop out of decorating mode, we'll be able to see what the view is like from here, which is the main objective anyway. I think I am going to still use a bunch of ruins and stuff around here, but the shape that we're going for, we're going to make with the flowers. Hi, Addy. Hello. Okay, yes, this space. 
Okay, we need a line of flowers across. Do I want this? Hmm, I think I'm going to want to have three rows making this, three rows of flowers. Maybe we can do like blue on the outside and red on the inside. Okay. I'm just going to place these and then we'll go and turn them all around. To make it look better eventually. Oh, I am going to have to drop a bunch more flowers though. So I will have to go back down here. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I want it to take up most of this space over here. Hi, Mariah. Hello, hello. Um, it's making you want to play, but you're also feeling good lounging in bed. That's why having this game on the Switch is wonderful. Well, I mean, pros and cons, really, because having it on the Switch is also a bit of a struggle sometimes. But playing Dreamlight Val Valley lounging in bed is just about the greatest thing in the world. Lucy, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the cute tink emotes and also member streams. I confirmed I do have a playlist <laughs> just of member streams, so you can find that on my channel. OK, yes, I'm going to go drop a bunch more flowers. I'm probably actually going to need more from my house. Oh, the way this is going to take up so many items in our item limit. Uh, it's OK. We're almost done decorating the aisle, so I think it should be fine. Mm. Yikes. Hi, Rose. Hello, hello. Decorating on the switch is no bueno. It's not the most fun, but it's doable. I feel like probably if you only play on the Switch or only play with controller, it's probably fine. But if you alternate between playing on control, like with a controller and playing with a mouse and keyboard, I feel like that's when you really feel the pain. Oh, wait, we have so many colors of these. Why did I not get any of these ones? That was not cool on my part. Um, okay. Oh, your gifted membership expired, so you just renewed it. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You haven't had issues, but you also have nothing to compare it to. Yeah, that's kind of how I was. Like, I wasn't a huge fan of decorating on Switch before I got the game on PC, but it was once I got the game on PC that I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see now how nice it can be. <laughs> I see how nice it can be versus how it is. Um, I'm going to drop all of the red flowers. Actually, how is my item count? Because um, we're fine. What's in the blue bag? Wait, what blue bag? Wait, do I have like... Oh, I didn't even realize I had that. I mean, I have all of the clothes, so it's not going to be anything new, but orange half hand gloves. Not too bad. The first emoji may be our Chippendale. I've seen a lot of people say that, too, but I don't know how the popcorn would factor in. I'm not sure how the popcorn would factor in. I'm going to move these a little bit. Ooh, um, we're going to have to get kind of creative with this. That looks to be a little bit more than like halfway the length of the bottom boy. So maybe if we did it like there. Oh, 
or even there. Thank you for the sip reminder. I've decided to not worry about having a coffee that gets cold and go with an iced coffee today. And it's delicious. Okay, and then this comes in this way. Oh, the only thing is that this is going to be the innermost line. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh no, <laughs> I'm just thinking about my life if I have to adjust this, like shift it one space over or two spaces over. Oh, that's going to be not the most fun, but. Um, this comes kind of. To like here ish. I think. Wait, this kind of forms a triangle. So let me do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could work. 4,000 items and 3,500 are trees. Honestly, <laughs> actually 3,500 of these are probably trees and underbrush. Like I really don't decorate with a lot of furniture pieces. So that's probably not a lie. The 4,000 items, I know, I know, just let it happen. Just, just let it happen. It's fine, I promise. Um, and then this comes out from, like, here. And... Does this look like it's supposed to look? Kind of? Um, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Now I just really want to watch Atlantis again. To the surprise of absolutely nobody. This kind of comes down pretty sharply. This whole thing kind of looks like a square now that I think about it. Hi, Travis. Hi, Benjamin. Hello, hello. Iced coffee sounds nice. Iced tea sounds good, though. I was doing a lot of iced tea last week. It was also wonderful. Really enjoyed it. Giving kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. I know it a little bit looks like a mess, but it also kind of looks like the actual thing that I'm going for. It's too long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then we would just need something in the center here. That's kind of it. You made a goal yesterday to feed every critter and got four memory shards. That's amazing. That's kind of it. Let me see if I can go up to the overlook. Do I know the movie by heart by now? Actually, no. It's kind of amazing. Okay, so um, I was watching a YouTube video and someone was talking about this and I had never really thought about it before, but I totally understood what they were saying after, um, after I was thinking about it for a little bit. Do you ever know something really well, like a song or a movie or something, but then you listen to it or watch it again and it's like you're experiencing it for the first time all over again I feel like that's so rare but for me that's almost Atlantis every time I watch it <laughs> I've seen it so many times but every time I watch it I feel like it's like the first time that I'm seeing it to be fair I think about this movie a lot I don't actually watch it a lot which you may or may not believe I think I watched it like two times, three times in the past year, maybe. 
you're like that with Harry Potter. That happened to me with a song this morning, too, where I was like, whoa, is this like. Why, why do I feel like I've never heard this song before? Um, I'm thinking about redoing this this way or. Hmm. Actually, I need to run down or run around down here. Rumors say the update is the 24th of April. As far as I know, what can I say and what can I not say? <laughs> I don't know any information that anybody doesn't know. It's not about that. It's more like, um, I feel like I haven't seen a whole lot of evidence pointing in that direction. Just a lot of like speculation. Which is cool and fun. That's the wait, what? What are you and why are you here? That's the only thing I really base my predictions off of. But I feel like sometimes it gets around the community so much that that's like fact. And as far as I know, we don't have any specific reason to believe that it's the 24th apart from just guessing. And hoping. Does that make sense? Maybe I will leave this. Uh, I don't know. I don't mind leaving this here. If I do, though, I'll have to figure out something to do over here. I don't think I could put it further back. I don't think I'd be able to see it. And I think the angle would be too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be down here. Okay, I've made up my mind. Hi, Will. Hello, hello. Can't stay for long, but just popping in. Welcome in. I hope you're having a great day today. I do kind of like it. Um, yeah, we're going to continue with this for now. And see if we can make it work. Oh, you know what? A grave and terrible error has been made. It's fine. We'll fix it as we go. Um, yeah, let me go drop more flowers. Um, Michael J. Fox was so good in that movie. You wonder why he didn't do the other. Wait, the other what? Second clue, maybe Bolt. I did think about that. That was an interesting one. I only saw Bolt once, I think. And I don't really remember it. Oh, Atlantis movies. I think there's only one other one. And to be fair, I don't really I don't know. I'm such a huge fan of the first Atlantis movie. And I feel like the second Atlantis movie was in the era of like straight to home sequels but it was not one of the ones that was that cute like some of those movies were actually still good movies i feel like the atlantis one not so much which pains me to say because i love atlantis but i didn't think the sequel was very good i think i only watched it once or twice i tried to watch it like a year or two ago and i was like mm. Now, what is this? Now, what is this? Okay, so once this is done, we can start figuring out what we're doing in the other area. Do I want this to be red? Actually, I was going to make this large with like four rows of flowers, but now looking at the two rows of flowers, it's kind of a lot, and I'm wondering if I should make this green and blue instead. I would like a magic wand tool that lets me magically change the color of flowers without having to replace them. Please and thank you. Uh, my favorite villager is either well i feel like i usually say that i have different favorites depending on like 
the impact on the valley. Like my favorite characters that we have in game right now are Belle and Rapunzel. But my favorite person to see around the valley is Anna because I think she's so cute and sweet. Or maybe I'll do three layers and we'll do pink and blue and green, perhaps, and get rid of the red. I don't really love the red. It's very harsh. Wait, what about mm -hmm, Belle is listening? I know Belle is always listening and Belle has nothing to worry about because Belle and I go way, way back. Nothing will ever sever our bond. Nothing will ever come between us. Us book girlies stick together is how I feel about Belle. This is fun. I feel like, um... I'm doing like cute little pixel art. <laughs> That's how I feel. Belle knows what I said. Belle knows that I always talk about how much I love her. And that I am rooting for her man to be turned into an actual man and also learn some emotional control. I want nothing but the best for Belle. Okay. Instead of going out one more, I think I'm going to try to go inside. Perhaps? Book nerds, not a bad thing. Oh no, not a bad thing at all. I'm a huge reader. Ooh, oh, the pink and the red is so fun though. And like bright and kind of looks pretty against the flowers on the trees. So maybe I will leave them. It just doesn't feel very Atlantis, you know? I, I think I'm going to have to switch them to blue and green, and then I'll just have to scatter some red and pink throughout the area. Yes, now we can actually see what that is. Wait, this is kind of iconic. <laughs> totally just by itself out of nowhere right now, but kind of going to be pretty epic. Beast needs therapy. Absolutely. I mean, to be fair, Belle kind of does, too. Nothing wrong with that. But their relationship seems like it's on the rocks. OK, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to. <laughs> the more that I look at this, the less I'm convinced that it looks anything like the actual symbol. <laughs> It's fine. We're going to leave it. We're going to pick up all these flowers <laughs> and then I'm going to start forming like the actual garden area around it, I think, so we can make something where this is going to actually work in the context of the valley. What's it supposed to be? It's the Atlantean symbol for the letter A. It's a nod to the movie and also my love to Atlantis. Or my love for Atlantis. Okay. I can't even use the vacuum to pick these up because it will just pick up all of the pink and red flowers and I don't want that. That might be something that I do in my free time. Just like touch up the symbol to make sure it looks like as pretty as possible. Beast and Belle really do need therapy. I feel like they do. There were a lot of questionable things going on in the quest line. Oh, I wish we had like 
Well, I was about to say, I wish we had an ancient looking gazebo. We literally have that gazebo that we got from Hercules that's called the ancient gazebo, isn't it? But what I meant was something that looks more like this well. I would love to use one of those. Okay, too many flowers. Oh my. What I can do is use the vacuum to pick up the blue flowers, though. Oh, it's the mighty gazebo. Okay. I didn't actually know what it was called, clearly. I thought it was something like ancient gazebo. Okay, pick these up. Amazing. And, oh wait, I think I moved the vacuum over here. Yes. Um, blue. Thank you. Let me save. Okay, I definitely do want some paths leading primarily from here to here. I'm trying to think whether I want it to be a continuous path or like a stepping stone sort of moment. I'm not 100% sure. I might try to make this a sort of diagonal situation. Around here. Perhaps like this. Or even like there. And then down this way. I really like having this sort of stone texture around this area, but I wish there was an option to get rid of it. Like, I do think it's really nice, but I feel like sometimes it can make things a bit difficult. I kind of wish we had a terrain brush, kind of like in The Sims. Or we could choose to, like, paint this texture onto areas. That would be pretty iconic. Um, like here, I think. Here we go. I'm so excited to see who we get in the DLC. I do still like I'm someone who thinks that it's going to be Oswald. And I wonder what his house is going to look like if it is Oswald. I mean, if it's Figment, I also wonder what his house is going to look like. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, yes, it does. OK, I just haven't finished doing what I'm doing yet. I think it's going to need to be like here, sort of. There we go. They need to put more color back in those flowers like the glow before. Wait, what do you mean? Um, okay, yeah, bringing this across. And then... I think I might even need to bring this one more this way. And this doesn't really make a difference because there's that texture there already, but I kind of want to bring that like that. Something like that?
Is there a tree growing in the well like the dreamlight tree? Wait, this? This well doesn't have a tree. Oh, Sully. Hello, how are you? Okay, yeah, this will work. I can even get rid of a little bit more of this path, to be honest. Which isn't going to make it that much of a difference in terms of what we see. But it might make a difference once I start trying to put foliage and things down. The luminescent flowers used to grow brighter. Wait, really? But we haven't had any changes to the game. Besides the Monsters Inc. update, and I don't remember them changing anything with that. But to be fair, I didn't really use the luminescent flowers very much before, so I guess they could have glowed brighter before. I didn't notice a difference, though. Okay, I would like... Oh, I forgot. Only the giant trees have the things. Okay, let me see what we have from the ancient civilization collection do i want to try to use one of the i almost said sprinklers one of the fountains do i have a fountain i don't i could probably make one let me make one turn the graphics to night i know it does glow at night i just yeah they don't glow during the day because well i mean they might but you just couldn't see it because it's light out Ooh, the sky is really pretty right now, actually. It's so red over there. I think it would be really cool if we had different constellations over here. But we just have the same ones. Um, yes, fountain. That's what I was trying to make. Actually, I feel like we definitely could use some more constellations now. Since we have more characters from different collections in the game, I feel like that would be cool. Once we get a character added from the collection, then the constellation would show up. Pretty good idea, if you ask me. Um, I'm looking for the ancient fountain thing did this just jump up to the top wait what i was like jumping up to the top of the menu again i'm not seeing it is that made at the time bending table it probably is made at the time bending table now that i think about it Uh, furniture. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, I can make... Let me make two of these. No, let me make three of these. Oh, it's been so long since I saw this animation. It's so cute. Okay. Oh, and it makes me more excited about the DLC update. Okay, out we go. This looks kind of weird here, but I'm mostly convinced we can get it to look fine. Mostly convinced. Once we start adding things in. I think... This might be a cute spot for a fountain. Perhaps we can put like a bench in front of it. Oop, in the trees. And then maybe we could put one over here as well. 
like here perhaps to figure out what I'm doing with this I almost want to put it over here which I think is where it was to begin with part of me also wants to get rid of it I'm not gonna lie uh I have that one over there I could put it in this corner It here for now. You think once you catch up on your quests, you're gonna get as organized as I am? That <laughs> I feel like being organized in this game can be very helpful. I just also love organizing in games. Um, it makes me feel like I'm being productive and have my life together even though it's just a video game. I might pop one here as well. Like here, perhaps. I do still have to consider that I'm going to probably need trees and things in this space. You want to remove those things so bad? I think we can. Like, you can put them away. And I don't think it would let us get rid of them if we still needed them, but I just feel kind of weird putting them in my inventory before we're done with the actual quest line. For the DLC, I kind of want to wait. Uh... The update, the update should be coming in the next few weeks. We don't have a specific date yet. But today, Dreamlight Valley posted a set of emoji clues about the star path. And usually they do that two or three weeks before the update drops. So I feel like probably the first week of May is when we're going to be seeing the update. But hopefully we'll get more information in the next week or so. And the update's going to have Daisy, the free update is going to. And we're also getting this building that looks like it's going to be a multiplayer shop for selling Touch of Magic designs, which is really cool. And if you have the Rift in Time DLC, that is also getting an update that's getting a new villager and also a continuation of the story. You still haven't opened the Monsters Inc. door. That's okay. I don't imagine that you'll have to have done that for this next update. I think you should be fine. Maybe I can put this here? Uh, actually, I should probably switch this around and put one of the smaller ones over here somewhere. And put this larger one back here. Uh, I don't do want it to like. Hmm. Okay, let me scoot this a little bit. Well, it's so cool because it's lining up with that thing. Let me move it forward a little bit. Like here, perhaps. Thank you for the sip reminder. What do I think the next star path will be? I think it's going to be another Disney Park star path. That's my guess. Which I think would be kind of fun. That being said, I'm aware that I'm pretty biased because I love the parks. But based on the emojis, I feel like that could be a possibility. You'd love a market themed star path? How do you mean? Like, what would that look like? No, I can't get back there. Thought I would be able to squeeze. Let me move it over one more space. Like, oh, wait, then I'm going to be restricted with what I can put back there. I'm going to try to do it anyway. We're going to try to make it work anyway. What if I put it there? You have Donald on the aisle. Should you move his house to the valley? Does it matter? I don't think it'll matter. 
Usually, if something has to be somewhere, uh, the game won't let you move it. So I think it's probably fine where you have it right now. And or if it needs to be somewhere else, we have had things just like move automatically with updates. So I think you're good. OK, and then I want another tree somewhat tall, but I don't want it to block everything. Will this work? I think it might. I have to go up here and check. You feel yourself fading, like taking a nap? I mean, by all means, take a nap. Uh, like farmer's market, bazaar theme with carts and Disney themed items we could put for sale on them. Oh, that would be cool. That'd be really neat. I think this is fine still. It's blocking the view here to the well, but I'm not really that bothered by it. We can see it this way. Look at Sully just on the ground <laughs> and Mike just practicing his jokes. Oh, my goodness. This is pretty. Thank you. Um, all of this area right here and up where I was on the ledge, it's all a mess because I haven't cleaned it, I think, since I decorated it. <laughs> so we got a lot of overgrowth and such, but... But it looks nice when it's all clean. And I'm feeling like we're going to be able to get this spot to look nice as well. I think we can. Um, part of me is kind of tempted to try to use vine walls, but I don't think I want to do that. There are so many things I wish we had, like stone arches, just like kind of versions of things that we already have just in this sort of stone texture. Is the next update for the base game or the DLC and do we know when the update is? Uh, the next update there will be content for both. There's going to be a free update that has Daisy and it looks like we're getting maybe more multiplayer functionality and a couple other things. And then there's also going to be an update that drops for the DLC as well. And that we don't know who the character is going to be, although there are a couple theories. We also don't have a specific update date yet, but. Streamlight Valley shared a teaser about the star path today, and usually that happens a couple to a few weeks before the update comes. Let me pop that there, I think. Do I want to put like a little bench or something here? I don't know what I want to do with this well spot. I want these. These are just so giant. I would have liked to use these in places, but they just are so large. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this, you know? So I think I'm just not going to bother. You wish they had asked John Goodman and Billy Crystal for the voices, but they're fine. I don't pretend to know anything about the process of getting people to be voice actors in a game. But I feel like all of the voice actors that they have had, even if they weren't the original voice actors for the characters, I feel like they all still feel like they could be the character, at least to me, which is nice. It doesn't feel like someone that feels like really out of place. Maybe I can put that there. Oh, that's kind of pretty. You know what I almost want here? But I don't think I'm going to use Sully. I really wish you wouldn't. I really wish you wouldn't. Um, a picnic blanket. But I'm not going to be able to get it to work. I kind of actually want to switch these flowers now. But it would take so long. It's just because... Hmm. I'll deal with it later. I 
I'm definitely going to need a lot of lights. Can I also grab like these perhaps? Something like this. We can't move that well, right? No, we cannot move that um, this well here. It's kind of like the well in the plaza. We're just kind of stuck with it. You want a spaceship earth themed house skin? That would be kind of cool. I feel like they're probably more likely to give that to us as an attraction item like they did with what's it called? The Tower of Terror. I feel like I would have fun using a spaceship earth item, but I feel like I would put it away really quickly like I love park stuff I love the Disney parks but having it in my game I feel like I don't I don't know it's partially that I just have a hard time getting it to look how I want it to look and it's partially like I don't have the space You're so excited you finished your star path and are ready for the next yeah hopefully it's soon i really do hope like i know a lot of people think it's going to be next week I, I would hope that it would be next week i'm totally always on board for having content sooner rather than later maybe i'll put those there oh Flying into the trees. I hate that so much. What if I put these here? Hmm. Now. Now. <laughs> okay, just it's fine. We're going to pretend we're going to pretend that those are evenly spaced. And we're going to move on with our lives. You never made the DJ booth, but you got all of the rewards. Well, that's what counts. Uh, did I find anything cool in the store today? I didn't. No. Nothing to write home about. I want this like here, perhaps? Kind of almost want these set off away from the, the pathway a little bit. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think I'm going to try to do that anyway. Maybe I'll put one like here. Where are you? Then like here, perhaps. I don't know if that's going to make any sense. You think the update will be May 1st? That's what I think as well. Don't know for certain, obviously, but that would be my guess. None of these are, uh... Wait, can you? You sort of can. Okay. You go there. That might work. You got the golden balance in the store today? One of your wish list items? Oh, nice! I don't think I knew that that one is a more difficult item to find. Put this here. I don't know. Let's see. Thank you for stopping by the stream, Amanda. I do appreciate it. And I hope you sleep well. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Oops. Isn't that one free with a code? The golden balance? I don't remember a code for that. Is there one? Um, if they're dropping teasers this early, we can expect update day in the next few weeks of this month. Um, the last two updates, we got an emoji clue like two and a half to three weeks, like two to three weeks before the update. So if they're doing the same thing that they have been recently. I think it will be May 1st. 
That being said, consistency is not always the most Dreamlight Valley thing in the world. Oh, I need to sneeze. Give me one second. Excuse me. Uh, there we go. With the window and the desk. I don't remember that. Hmm, okay, I don't want this here. I've decided I don't like this in the center there. So I'm going to, I might just leave this here and get rid of this or find somewhere else to put it. Perhaps over here. If so, I would kind of want it to line up with this one. For no other reason than it can. In which case, I should probably move this this way a little bit. Let's see, let's see. Thank you, Kitty. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Welcome in. How are you doing? Okay, yes, the lights I think are okay here. Sure. Still kind of want to do something over here, but I don't know what. Is Sully stuck? He's been back there for ages. Ages and eternities. Thank you for stopping by, Christian. I appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay, I think I need to make some more of these planters. I really like these. I like that. Okay. Let me save quickly. Let me make a couple more of those planters if I can. I think I should have empty flower beds. I'm running so low on just like stone. So I need to start grinding for that again. He decided to put Goofy's house on Dazzle Beach next to the dock and it actually looks good. I could picture that. I feel like his house looks kind of like faded and worn in a way that beach houses sometimes do. Um, I'm looking for forties. We make like ten of these. That's a lot. That's fine. Doing good trying to finish the star path before the new one comes out. You just got the game last week and you're loving it so much. That's amazing. Oh, every time I see someone who's like a new player. It makes me feel so nostalgic. <laughs> like, it makes me think of back when I was a baby <laughs> playing Dreamlight Valley for the first time and how joyous it was <laughs> before I got to be a little bit jaded about it. <laughs> I still love this game. I only complain about it sometimes because I love it and I want it to be successful. Maybe I'll do some flowers here. Hi, James. How are you? Trisha, your first live. You're also decorating your aisle today while listening. Amazing. Welcome in. What part of your aisle are, are you decorating and what kind of a vibe are you going for? I feel like I've been popping around so much, just not. I don't know if I were a little bit more organized. I would probably just finish off either Ancient's Landing or the Wild Tangle, but I've just been popping between the two recently. And to be fair, I've been having a grand time doing that, but it would just make more sense to just finish a space off first. You're jealous of my inventory? You'll get there. It's just a lot of a lot of time and a lot of grinding. Uh, you think the items were available at Scrooge's and they just gave it to everyone? I remember they gave it to people. Um, I think that was when they had that issue in the premium shop where they put something in the shop that was a Scrooge item. I think after that they just sent it to people's mailboxes though. I don't remember a, um, 
a code, but there might have been a code. But I thought it was just to people who were playing at the time it popped up in their mailbox, but I don't know. That was so long ago. That was like the first time we had the premium shop. I think it was the first rotation. Um, Cause the first ever premium shop, we had like the palace and those um, art deco -y items, that kind of stuff. But I think it was the first time the shop actually turned over. One of the things was this set that had some new items, but also had some Scrooge items. Pop this over here, I think. There we go. Hi, Yuri. Hello. You made your docs a food court. Just need to put the finishing touches. Oh, that's fun. Part of me feels like it would be really nice to make the docks more of like a hot spot area, but I don't know. One thing about me, I'm going to decorate things like it's the wilderness <laughs> and especially with Ancients Landing because I love Atlantis so much. I just kind of want it to be all Atlantis, no people. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. I do also want to add just some random flowers around as well. Because I, obviously this is going to be, it's going to look like a lot of flowers. Just clumped in one space. Which is fine. But if we have just loose flowers around as well, it's going to make it seem less dramatic, I think. Oh, I also need more like pieces of ruins. This is also going to be a very open space, I feel like, compared to how I usually decorate. Maybe it's just the fact that the path is so wide. No, you know what it is? It's the fact that there aren't very many trees. That's it. That's why it feels empty. Anyway, uh, that's a problem for... I mean, it's not a problem, actually. It's just the way that it is. There's nothing wrong with it. With Daisy coming, do I think they'll take Donald's temper away? I do not think they will. I do not. Would I like them to? Absolutely. Well, actually, no, to be fair. You know what? Justice for Donald. Let Donald do what he wants. I. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me anymore. I feel like it used to annoy me quite a bit, but I haven't. Um, I haven't really noticed it recently, if I'm being 100% honest. So if Donald wants to continue to throw a fit, by all means, Donald, have at it. Um. Oh, not you. I feel like there's path here that I need to get rid of. There. Will you fit now? No. What is that that's in your way? Is that the tree? I think that might be the tree. Okay. Now why? Who did this? <laughs> Who made the footprint of the tree that size? And also why? Team Don Don. Yeah, Donald can just live his life. He can be a melodramatic queen if he wants to be. I say this now, but I probably like I pretty much guarantee that if I'm doing something or like a quest with Donald and he's throwing a fit, I'm going to be like, dude, chill. Like, why are we doing so much? <laughs> why are we doing so much? Winterberry, hello, hello. How are you? I hope the exam studying is going well. I was about to say I love exams. And here's the thing. I'm not completely lying, but that wasn't what I intended to say. <laughs> uh, I do in a weird way enjoy exams, but it's mostly just the satisfaction of knowing that they're finished at the end of the day. Um, but the stress of studying for like, I like taking exam. That's weird to say, but it's true. I like taking exams. I just don't like studying for exams. Pop this here. School is important. You can always catch up on videos. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, who doesn't want to throw a fit every now and then? Exactly. 
I feel like I haven't said this in a while, but I feel like I'm a very dramatic person. I love a bit of melodrama. I feel like being dramatic just for the sake of being dramatic is so fun, as long as it's not like a toxic kind of drama. And it's just like theatrics drama. Ugh, love it. <laughs> Live for it. Do I have a, where do I have a time bending table? I have one in Merlin's yard, which is really close to here. Where do I have a crafting table? I have one in my house. Do I want one back here? Actually, I don't think I would be able to access it if it was back there. Hmm. I've definitely mentioned being dramatic recently. Have I? Oh. <laughs> well then. It's just a big part of who I am, okay? What feels weird about this? I really do think it's just the lack of trees and that I just need to get over that. But I think also maybe adding some like ruins looking things will help me to get over it a little bit. Uh, will I be able to get past this if that's here? I think I will. I think I'll be able to get past that just fine. Let's pop this there, perhaps. You work with people with dementia and they can be the most dramatic people in the world and you love that about them. I used to work um, with people with dementia sometimes. And yes. You're stressing because the exams are really important and you don't want to have to retake them. That's totally understandable. Hopefully you've had lots of time to study and you feel super confident going into the exams. And just do the best you can. Oh, you know what I have? I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. I want this somewhere in here it's kind of fun it's like a glowing orb <gasps> what if I made the glowing orb yes listen listen what if I made the glowing orb the little dot in the center of the symbol no 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 I changed my mind I was so excited about that <laughs> for 10 seconds it's gonna be weird if I well it might not be as weird once I have the flowers the right color you know what I'm gonna do it for now because eventually probably off stream I'm going to change these flowers to be blue and green instead of the pink and red and then I think it'll look less strange to have this thanks for lurking winterberry You're going to say the pretzel emoji is Quasimodo, but then you remember it was a croissant, not a pretzel. Wait, is that from a scene in the movie? I feel like I just watched it recently, but I don't remember that. Okay, yeah, the ruins are starting to make me feel a little bit better about this. I just don't really love a lot of open space when I'm decorating, which actually I kind of wish I did. I feel like it looks super clean and intentional. And when I see people decorate their valleys, utilizing a lot of like open space, I usually think it looks really nice. I just can't really find a way to do it that I enjoy in my valley. A scene with the gargoyles. Oh. Hmm. You found a space for Daisy on Eternity Isle by the docks with the rest of the Mickey and Friends crew. Nice. I think I am going to unconsider the one idea I had about making 
the meadow where I have all of my shops and things. And I think I'm going to actually leave them in the plaza or like put them in the plaza. And I want to make like a neighborhood again in the meadow for the Mickey and Friends characters. It's not going to be where it was last time, though. It's probably going to be more where I had it, like overlooking Dazzle Beach from a really old build of mine. Pop that there. Uh, actually, can I rotate this? No, it can stay that way. That's okay. And then maybe I can pop that there. Let's see how that looks. Thank you for lurking, Cozy, Val Cozy Valkyrie. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, glad you finally caught a live. Love the streams and decorating style. You're looking for inspo for your main house. Oh, nice. Do I have any videos from when I decorated my main house? I think I did my main house on stream, but my main house isn't very decorated. I can show it to you really quick. We can do a quick hiatus tour. I really only have the first floor decorated. Ignore all of the mannequins. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think I did do this on stream, but all of my main house builds are so old, like over a year old, I think. Um, but yeah, I just have a living room that's pretty casual. And then I have a sort of art studio room. And this is where I have all of my storage. Pretty much everything in my house is for storage purposes. And all of the decorating that I've done just because for interiors has been in premium shop houses. Um, yeah, this is my like food storage. SSJ Cody, hello, hello. Oh, from when the gargoyles sing to him. I think I remember this. The way sometimes I can like watch a movie and completely forget everything that happens in it. You have a weird love-hate relationship with Hunchback. Love Esmeralda and the songs. God help the outcast gets you every time. Oh, that one is so dramatic and um, interesting. Interesting is not the word I was looking for. <laughs> oh, I do have the second floor decorated as well. This is my Eternity Isle storage, though. Um, this is like the majority of my storage for Eternity Isle. This I did on a stream, but it was a member stream, but I think it was like the end of December. I came back and did a tour on one of my live streams of it. Poignant? Yeah, sure. Poignant's a great word. I feel like having a love-hate relationship with Hunchback is not abnormal. Maybe it's because I feel that way too. It's like such an emotionally distressing movie for me. Like, I appreciate it for the art that it is, but I also don't ever really have a desire to watch it because I know... Okay, Moon. Um, Because I know it's going to make me upset. So it's time to redo my house. Uh, You would think, however, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen anytime soon because I don't really have a problem with the way that my house is decorated right now. Um, this is my Eternity Isle gem storage, and I'm way more interested in decorating the premium shop houses than I am in redoing my main house. The only thing that I would potentially redo in my main house is the main room, I think. Uh, and I'd probably move all of the... Oh, the only thing that I do want to decorate in my main house is a, like, wardrobe floor, because I have so many mannequins around. And I want a place to save my outfits that I really like. That also looks nice, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, I would like to be able to get back through here, though. That would make a lot of sense. So let me move this like here, potentially. Let me move this actually that might be able to stay there yeah that can probably stay there you only have gaston rapunzel mother gothel and mike and sully in your valley um like allowed to roam around is that what you mean 
I want these plaza rocks. I can't remember which ones I was using here. Uh, probably using these peaceful meadow ones. Why are they kind of the same? They're pretty much the same. And then the forest of valor ones. There, perhaps. Never forget, your imagination is a powerful magic. Oh, I am very familiar with Prince of Egypt. Very, very familiar indeed. The music in that movie slaps so hard. that there and maybe let me put another one like right there perhaps perhaps I need like arches or something do you know what I mean I don't know can you like see it Either like an arch going here, like a nice wide stone arch that you could look through or like a nice wide arch that we could put on the pathway and run through. But to be honest, even if we had the type of item that I feel that I'm needing, I don't think I would be happy unless we could move items, like rotate them more freely because I wouldn't be able to place them exactly how I want them. Something's missing. I think it's just foliage. I think I'm just being me. And I should get additional things. Your son played you a rock cover of Let My People Go? Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard any covers of any songs from Prince of Egypt. put this here hmm I could stick that in there we could move mother gothel to the aisle you would but we can't I actually mother gothel i don't mind that we can't move her house her house doesn't really bother me um what does bother me is the tree house why can't we move the tree house please let us move the tree house i really wonder if we're going to be able to um at some point like maybe there's more storyline we still need to work through or something i don't know i'm also okay also you know what? It's time to bring this back. We haven't talked about this in a hot minute. What's happening with Skull Rock? <laughs> what is happening with Skull Rock? And when are we going to get to finish that storyline? Because it's been a year. It's been a year. And we still have nothing. And I'm confused. Uh, how much is this game and do you need to pay in game? Um, this game is, I think it's 40 US dollars for the base game. It's either 30 or 40, but I feel like it's 40. Um, there are options to pay money in game. I can show you what they are because they're limited. One is for the star path. You can unlock a premium version of the star path that gives you extra rewards. You can pay for those with moonstones, which are the in-game currency. Um, and then you can also spend moonstones in the premium shop, which has one or two pages of items each week. That being said, you can earn moonstones in game and none of these things are like required purchases. So all of the main gameplay of like questing, decorating, um, interacting with villagers, none of that is behind a paywall at all. Uh, 
Uh, kind of random question. Anyone think they'll open areas in the mine that's in Sunlit Plateau? There are areas that seem like they'll open. I do think they will eventually. I'm just so curious to see what is going on in the main valley because there's been such a focus on the DLC recently, which I get because, you know, people paid for it if they have it. And if they don't have it, um, Dream Life Valley wants people to get it. But it's like we have so much main valley stuff that we haven't addressed, haven't completed like arcs for that kind of thing. So I'm really, really curious about when we're going to see those kinds of things. You thought we were getting it with Mike and Sully. Yeah, I thought so too. I feel like maybe that was the intention. I it, I still kind of am of the opinion that there was a development delay and we were supposed to get that content in the Mike and Sully update, but they didn't include it because maybe they didn't have it finished or something. That's kind of my thought process. Okay, I need more grass. Yes. You think the mines will lead to Skull Rock? Really? I think Skull Rock is going to be a separate area, kind of like um, where we found Olaf. Like that kind of thing. Um, I think it's going to be just a sort of isolated location in the valley. Hi, Brain Seer. Oh, also, thank you. Yeah, I forgot. We hit 13,000 subscribers a couple days ago, which is pretty amazing. Thank you all so much um, for hanging out for so long, putting up with me <laughs> for over a year now. And uh, yeah, we've had fun. I appreciate it. There we go. Ooh, thank you for the zip reminder, kitty. Sip of success? <laughs> okay, I am probably should stop putting things... Actually, I need something over here. If I could get this super close to this... Oh, yes. Wow. Look at Dreamlight Valley cooperating with me, sort of. Um, That's amazing. Oh, this can't go further that way. It's fine. It was nice while it lasted. Um, because I just need some color over here. There we go. Yes. And then I mostly think I need to take... Oh, I can pop a couple back things back here. But then I want to take a little bit of a pause with placing bushes and things around because I do want to grab some flowers to just be out and about. What am I looking for? Oh, ruins. Thank you, Lucy, for the congrats. I appreciate it. It's been such a weird time being on YouTube. Like, weird in a good way, but... I remember when I started my channel, no one was really playing Dreamlight Valley or watching Dreamlight Valley. Like, there were a couple of creators who were playing... But most of the people who were playing back then don't really play anymore. Um, and I was just kind of like, I don't know, might as well. <laughs> might as well try. I play this game so much. Might as well see if anyone else wants to hang out while I'm playing. And here we are today. There we go. You can call it putting up with you. You'll call it a delight. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I mostly say that as a joke. I'm a fan of self-deprecating humor. I 
I could probably pop a couple of these around. Remember when I said I was going to stop placing things? <laughs> and here I am doing exactly that. But listen, I haven't placed any of these and these aren't my favorite. I don't really know what they're supposed to be. They look like crunchy. Does that mean? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but they look like uh, if you tried to bend them, they would crunch apart like styrofoam or something. Maybe that's just me and my brain being weird. But that's the impression I get. Oh, thank you, Leaf Pool. I appreciate it. They look like kale chips. I mean, they don't not look like kale chips. They look like wrinkly pea pods. I don't know. I kind of like them, though. They're kind of, they're kind of cool to look at. I just don't know what they are or what they're. Well, I mean, they don't necessarily have to be anything in particular. This is a fantasy island, and I don't think its uh, influences are as rooted in reality as some of the foliage and things in the main valley. So it just is what it is, but. They interest and confound me. I do need another fern. We really are going to stop in a second, but every time I say that, I find something else that I want to do things with. You could never find anyone who really posted much when you first found my channel, so you're glad that I still play post? Yeah, I love this game. I don't imagine I'll stop playing it anytime soon unless, well, let me not say that. Um, I was going to like have to knock on wood, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I love this game, even with all of my criticisms about it and some of the complaints that I have. It's still it's just fun. I just find it fun, you know. So I will be here for a while, I'm sure. Are you a tall boy? I think you are. No, you're not a tall. Wait. You are a tall boy, so why will you not? Anyway, just go there. That's fine. Wait, what's a metapod? They give you Jack and the Beanstalk vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they would be crunchy too? Yeah. I didn't intend to use that word to describe it, but then when I said it, I was like, no, I, I meant that. Like, that is how I feel. Feels like they would be crunchy. Okay, time to drop some flowers. I should have some in my inventory, yes. And I'm going to drop... We're gonna... Oh, no! Y'all... I am a ball of distress, because here's the thing. I didn't mean to drop all of those flowers, and I'm going to have to pick them all up by hand because they're red and it's going to get rid of my beautiful design. Oh, uh, Laysai. Pick up. Wait, what did I say about tall boys? Oh, was I talking about the grass? You love the streams, they're a lot of fun to watch, and you hope that I'm able to keep streaming and posting. I definitely am here. I want to get better about, like, posting video content because here's the thing I've kind of talked about this throughout the course of my channel for a long time I was doing news content and I I love Dreamlight Valley news I love talking to people about the news but I don't love reporting on Dreamlight Valley news quite as much because I feel like there's this I don't know at least with the way that I kind of interacted with it it felt like this weird pressure to like be the first one to talk about something all the time or like always have something to say and like sometimes there's just not news so like I don't know feeling pressured to come up with something to post when there's nothing just wasn't fun for me I didn't enjoy it very much um so I want to find like something else to do. 
I'm going to do like five of each, I think. You were talking about the grass too. Kitty, I know you weren't talking about the grass. I was just wondering what I said that you jumped off of <laughs> to get to where you ended up. Okay, let me drop this, drop this. You're going to create a fish market next to where you put Goofy. Oh, cute. That'll be fun. I mean, I actually do have kind of a lot of red flowers around because they're pretty prominent in the planters. I know we've got a bunch of them here, but those eventually are going to be all like green and blue. So I'm going to put some more like pink and red flowers in this direction so we can bring that in over there. Having too much pressure with posting, maybe just stick to streaming. Yeah, that's why I kind of stopped posting videos for a while and just started focusing on streaming because I enjoy streaming a lot. I still get to talk with everybody about whatever is going on, but I don't feel the same kind of pressure, at least in the same way that I did with making news videos and if slash when I find something that I'm passionate about with videos that I feel like is sustainable then we'll we'll start throwing out some some short form uploads or medium form uploads I don't know whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call them can you go over we don't have like a lot of grassy area I'm not gonna lie Uh, you can go over here. You can perhaps come over here. Doesn't take much for your imagination to take liberties. No, that's fair. A lot of times I set myself up for it also, though, so it's okay. This might work. This might work. You don't know how some people work full time and post videos at the same time. Yeah, that's wild to me. That would be a lot of a lot of work, especially if you're in like the news like cycle for Dreamlight Valley or other games. It'd be a lot. Um, maybe I pop this like here. There we go. You love hearing my lore and theory stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love I love a bit of lore. I love a bit of theory, like theorizing and stuff. I feel like we haven't had quite as much of that recently in Dreamlight Valley. I feel like maybe it's just because when we first got the game, no one knew what was happening, what was going on. Everything was just so new and fresh and there was so much to go off of. Right. And we were all just kind of trying to come up with ideas of what was happening. And it was a lot of fun. But I feel like a lot of our mysteries have started to be in the process of getting solved, sort of. So there's less to speculate on, kind of, from a lore perspective. But anytime we get something, I'm like, ooh, yes. <laughs> I love something to theorize on. Move. Nope, not you. Oh, hey, where did you come from? We'll move you then. There we go. That's why we mesh so well. Yeah, I feel that, kitty. Okay, listen. Uh, I need something over here. The only thing is if I put stuff right in the middle of this, it's really gonna make it more difficult to see what's going on. Let me go up here and take a little sneaky peek. Thinking about changing this is giving me so much stress. <laughs> Thinking about switching these out to be different flowers. Hmm. 
I need to do something in that spot, right? I, uh, kind of in front of the vacuum. Maybe a fern or something. But I like this. I can also move that little sphere downwards more. Actually, let me stay here while I do that. So I can see... Uh, like here, perhaps? And then maybe we'll grab a fern. One of the fixers of many things. And pop that right there. I know this is a staircase and we'll probably access things this way. Actually, you know what? Let me take this and we'll switch that out for the tall grass if we can. So that way we can put a stone, like a stepping stone trail this way. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Looking nice. Thank you. It's looking OK. I still wish. Oh, I really wish we could have made the little symbol work with a path. I think that would have been really nice, but. It also would have been. Difficult. And I don't know that the. The stress of trying to make that work would have been worth the the reward of it being done, you know, if we even could have gotten there. That there and I'll put this there. Nice. Next week is going to be a busy one for you with Speedstorm getting season seven and Overwatch getting season ten. Oh, nice. I've never played Overwatch. I don't even really know what Overwatch is completely, to be 100% honest. I need to clean this up at some point. Well, it'll probably be somewhat soon um, that I clean everything. Never forget uh, your imagination is a powerful magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might just like add some more bushes and things over here. Maybe we'll add some rocks. Yeah, I can put some rocks, I think. And maybe some beach grass, because I think the flowers can go inside of the beach grass. And if we have that, it will kind of break up this big area of just flowers a little bit, but it will still we'll still be able to tell what it is from the overlook there, I think. So something like, I don't know, we can toss this in there. We can. Oh, I also have to figure out what I'm doing in this corner over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've been streaming for a long time. How much of this time did I spend trying to make this design with flowers? I'm actually so curious. <laughs> I can't remember when we finished that. Well. Oh, wait, what? I need to exit furniture mode. I feel like my camera was being really weird. Let me also save while I'm at it. Okay. Not you. Oh, wait, you can't. <gasps> That's sad, but I could put it like here. Can I get a small one? Oops. Let me put that right there. Uh, I never really want the short ones, but I do this time and. Oh. See, I can't. Uh, you go there for a second. You go like there, perhaps, and you go there. Yes. And then I think I need like, I need something to break this up a little bit here. Like maybe we'll bring a couple more plants just so it's not like a huge wall of flowers that we're seeing right when we're walking in here. I mean, it's still going to be a wall of flowers. Don't get it twisted, but... Something like that, maybe? A 
Oh, hi, Wally. How are you? I know you have a quest for me, but I'm not going to do it. At least not right now. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Can I still get back here, actually? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, that's good. Can I go through here? Oh, I can. Okay. And then here, something needs to be done about this as well. I think maybe just one of these. Ooh, flying into the space. I kind of want... No, I think that's fine. And then over here, I feel like I'm going to try to get a little wall. Like one of these, perhaps. Maybe we'll move that there. Pop this in here and then can I bring some foliage back here? It's just so gray. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... And then what about a leaf rug? Like a leaf rug path moment. I feel that we need something here too. Maybe just ruins and maybe more flowers. Flowers are always a good idea. I feel like flowers are quickly becoming another one of those things that I use to just fix everything. Because it works. Um, not like that. And perhaps like a little underbrush moment. Let's see. That's not bad. I do need something like here. Or I could just push these lights back. I might just push these lights back. I usually like having them out a little bit. But wait, what? But having them flush like, with the... Or, well, not really flush, but as far back against there as possible might work in this specific instance. Never forget, your imagination is a powerful magic. Thank you, Merlin. Much appreciated. this could work. The sound effect of the fountains is kind of soothing, kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm not really sure which one I feel more. Does anyone else feel that way? It's kind of like white noisy, but kind of like jarring at the same time. I think I want to turn it to nighttime and see how we're looking. We're like sunset-y. pretty late. Like a weird sprinkler? Yeah, kind of weird sprinklery. Ah, yes, a wall of luminous flowers. <laughs> You can almost kind of see what it is better here than you can from the overhang, which is kind of crazy. I think 
I like this. All you have left in the star path is to get the Zen garden and you do not want to get all of those pebbles. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I feel like I usually dig in the forest for pebbles. I don't know if there's a better spot than that. I like this is kind of cute. And actually, the more that I look at this symbol, the more I think it's passable. Also, who besides me just like casually knows, <laughs> just like casually thinks about the Atlantean alphabet? I don't think anybody, so I don't think anyone's going to care. Uh, I should have something here, though. You love it? Thank you. I think it's pretty nice. I'm a little bit, oh, dreading switching all of these flowers out, but. We got to do what we got to do. And let me see if I can grab like this, perhaps. You can get pebbles in the forest. I think so. I think so. You know who will know for sure? Well, the collections tab, but also I'm already on the wiki, so <laughs> pebbles. Uh, Dazzle Beach, Forest of Valor, Sunlit Plateau, and Forgotten Lands. Yeah, I feel like I usually would go for the forest. When I was working on digging things up. It looks good to you. You like how it looks? Thank you. I think I like how it looks. And now we only have one area left in Ancient's Landing, which is this main part of the docks. So we're getting close to finishing. That's wild to me. Wild and crazy. I still don't know. It really depends on when the update is, whether we're going to be able to finish it or not. But yeah, we only have this part of the docks. And then we have this part of the Wild Tangle. And that's it. Oh my goodness. Definitely Atlantean. Yeah, that's that's the goal. That's the goal. If you look at it and say, hmm, feels like Atlantis, then I did something right. <laughs> The next update is supposed to have Daisy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daisy should be coming in the free update. And then an unknown character who's responsible for a lot of speculation right now uh, is going to be coming with the expansion. Actually, come to think of it, how am I going to do this? I don't even know. I'm going to have to do it down here. Actually, don't mind me. I'm not going to actually switch these out right now because I don't want to subject you all to that. But I was trying to figure out how I'm going to make this happen. I think if I drop all of these flowers here and then move them with the other flowers, that's going to be the easiest to do. I love these luminous flowers so much. Like, they're so good. They're so pretty. They're gorgeous. Uh, can you get a quick tour of what I've done? Oh, yeah, I can do a quick run through, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be a mess. So just uh, <laughs> just be aware that that's what we're working with. I haven't cleaned anything up on me my aisle recently, but this area is just our well entry island situation uh seating area crates and barrels a nice picnic spot another bench i'm a big fan of benches really love them got one over here as well and then we've been all up in the other areas of ancients landing today but 
I have uh, Merlin's house here and then just like a lot of ruins with another bench. Merlin has a yard that has a clock tower, telescope, couple crafting stations, another bench, um, some flying machines from Atlantis, and then back here. Oh, hey, green chest. You're excited to see it when I change the color one by one. I know it will be painful, but I think it's going to look better. Um, and then we have a jacuzzi over here. And then up here we have, oh, you can't even see it because it's such a mess. <laughs> but we have the sword and the stone back here. <laughs> um, a little seating area. I have my vacuum back here. Oh my goodness. Don't clown me too much, okay? Uh, and then benches back here as well to sit, which are kind of nice. Anyone found any Mr. Glimmer in the Monsters Inc. realm? Yeah, I don't think it spawns there. Which I imagine was probably an oversight on their part. And then here we have Shea Remy and a couple outdoor seating areas. We have that one and then we have a special little romantic seating area back here, as well as a little critter table back here, which is kind of cute. And then Scrooge's is over on this side with an outdoor little bench spot and another one over here. Let me eat something. And then moving to the glittering dunes, I have just a dramatic well entry area here. is pretty fun into a secret ancient civilization Jafar communication pedestal time bending table all that jazz and then up here I have Eve and Wally's homes with a garden for them this area actually doesn't look too bad right now it's still messy but not as messy. And then Stitch is their neighbor down here with his spaceship and lots and lots of coffee and coconut cake everywhere for him. And a couple little, I don't know, oasis side seating areas. This is our rundown highway that's being overtaken by the desert which I think is a bit of fun, but this is probably the first thing I'll get rid of if we get like Aladdin and Jasmine added and I need space for them or if we just get another building that I think would look good in the dunes. We'll put that over here. But for now, I think this is a fun way to incorporate the V8. And this is our palace grounds in the glittering dunes where we have the Cave of Wonders, a nice pool. The Desert Palace. Just a fancy water and foliage feature over here. And um, an outdoor gardens area here as well, which is fun. You have no idea what to do with that area in the dunes. It's so huge, it's daunting. Yeah, the dunes, I feel like, are kind of hard to decorate. Actually, I found that with a lot of things in Eternity Isle, because we don't have as many buildings or homes that I wanted to put here. So just finding things to take up a lot of space was a bit of a challenge. This is my Glittering Dunes Orchard, where I have all of these plants. And this is our bazaar with a seating area over here, the well. We have a foliage and plants shop here. A shop for instruments, gems, clothing. A tea room. A crafting and ceramic sort of station. And then some crops. 
some lamps because why not some eternity isle foods random little knickknacks and magic and then we have gaston's meat stall with some herbs like a little diy barbecue setup situation you feel like a lot of decorations in general don't match the aisle so it makes decorating a challenge yeah i feel i get what you're saying i kind of feel that way as well and then the wild tangle i have a farm and goofy stall over here as well as an orchard area that i still haven't figured out exactly what to do back here but eh. uh then we have a little fairy village through here with fairy godmother's home and the fairy bloss home and the mushroom manor with a painting area back here Welcome back, Christian. Uh, reading Nook by the Fairy Blossom. A little impromptu fruit stall. Someone said in my comments, actually, that I could move this. Oh, wait, what? I did all... Anyway, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm not deleting it now. We just made it. But I guess I can delete the cursed basket now. Uh, and another bench. You wish you had more furniture options and more paths? Yeah, I would love more paths. Back here, we get to another lounge area and our Eternity Isle hot air balloon adventures where you can take a balloon basket up into the sky and get a nice tour of the aisle. And down here is our jungle with a couple campsites. We have one here. Oh, moonstones. And a picnic area right here by the water, even though you're mostly just looking at the rocks, but that's fine. And more of a community campsite area here with a couple tents, an RV, picnic table, outhouse. And then back here, there's a little painting area. Ah, <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> oh no, let me get rid of this so we can get through. You love the balloons. The balloons are so nice. I'm glad I saw those while I was decorating because otherwise I wouldn't have used them. Um, and then another reading area. I love reading. This one in a nice little tree swing, which is a bit of fun. Up here is our botanical gardens area. Uh, yeah, down there's a... Uh, actually, do I want to go through here? Yeah, why not? Uh, these are our botanical gardens. With lots of fountains, arches. Pretty trees. Got some turning red statues, uh, also just like benches and picnic areas, a fill statue, of course, more seating, more fountains. And then through here, same thing, fountains, water, little picnic setup. And same thing back here, but this one's like a little bit more isolated and hidden, which is kind of nice. It's another little picnic spot. And then the last thing I have decorated in Eternity Isle right now is the lagoon, which is where the Madrigals live. So we have their home. A sitting area over here, Mike popping out at me. Back here, we have a flower arranging table for Isabella, a little quiet private sitting area, and another just sort of isolated seating area over here. You love the botanical gardens area? Thank you. We finished that one really recently on a stream, and I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, seating, well... This is supposed to be an area for Antonio to have all of his critters out and about and a little fort where he can sit and hang out with them. I don't actually have critters in these homes because ugh. 
the homes and the critters do not interact well together. And then a nice outdoor eating area with a grill. So if we had all of the Madrigals, they could sit out and have dinner with each other and just have fun family time. Oh, and then these hammocks for sitting by the water again. And that's it. That's my Eternity Isle so far. Then just a couple areas left. been quite the adventure decorating Eternity Isle, and I've had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was going to be a challenge, and it definitely has been, but it's been a fun one. And I think this is actually where we're going to end stream. So let me see if anybody else is playing, and we can go and hang out with them. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, as always. Uh, I'm glad we got some stuff done, and we got to talk about the emoji clues. Let me see who's up to what. How do I do this? Oh, I remember. <laughs> Not how do I do this. That's why I don't do this every week. I'll be back tomorrow playing Coral Island, so I hope to see you there. I'll be back to Dreamlight Valley on Wednesday, if not before then. Let's go see Let's Play. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go see Let's Play Kay. Looks like she's cleaning up her valley and maybe doing some other update prep stuff. Please come say hi if you have a moment. Kay is absolutely awesome. If not, no worries. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day and take care of yourself. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody.